our kids, our seniors, our vets, the weak, the disabled, the poorest, we've got to look after. We have a real obligation to give them hope and plot a course, and I've done that. My plan, I, I basically put into my plan that we would exempt veterans' retirement from our state income tax. And this will create 48,000 new jobs. Tomorrow, instant, tomorrow, instant jobs, good jobs. We've got to have stiffer penalties for the dealers that are bringing these terrible, terrible drugs into our state. We've got to find an avenue, a pathway to bring people back into the workforce, a pathway for them to get rid of their felony charge. But one thing we're not going to let happen, we're not going to let them walk away from an industry that creates 1,700 jobs. I want us to, to be able to listen locally and put more control back locally and let these Charleston bureaucrats get them out of our way. We need to be able to put our miners back to work. We need to be able to pay our teachers, in my opinion. We need to be able to not strangle our state into just oblivion. How could you turn your back on a loved one that was really suffering, and we had a vehicle to be able to help, and we just turned our back and said, no, nope, we're not gonna do that, and everything. Well, to me, that's not listening to the wise, and it's not being charitable and caring like we ought to be. This, what we have today, is just giving these great people that know so much more about what and, and how to do than maybe the powers to be that are trying to guide them. And it gives them the power to make real decisions and to move us forward as they should.